Hawk Sauce, Aeneas. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you officially. Yes, sir. Um, you actually played at Penn State. Yeah. Um, can you actually dig a little bit deeper into that? Because, you know, everybody knows the whiteout game. They know the atmosphere. They know the history yeah. behind the school. And you actually got to play in it. So I know that definitely had to do a lot with your ambition crossing over into being an Asian, you know, doing yeah. what you're doing. So can you go a little bit into that? For sure. I mean, the, the big thing with me is I'm from Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, and also my family, my dad, my uncle, granddad, I had a lot of family that played in the NFL. So coming out of high school, I was in a different position where I kind of understood the sports business a little bit differently uh, than a lot of high schoolers do. And I can just remember uh, my recruitment had started. And being from Ohio, uh, I wanted the Ohio State offer. So okay. my whole thing was I went to Penn State initially not even wanting to go to Penn State. I just understood that if Penn State offered me that because Ohio State was in the Big Ten, mm -hmm. they would have to pay attention to me as well. Um, obviously, it didn't matter. I went up to Penn State, fell in love immediately. Coach Franklin and his staff did a great job preaching family. Family is something that we're uh, you know, big on in my family, big on in Young Money, and definitely big on in Penn State too. So I fell in love with it immediately, man. The, the whiteout game, uh, everybody knows about. <laughs> I mean, I've been to AFC Championships. I've been to... NBA Finals games, there's nothing like the whiteout in terms of sheer like volume and mass. Different experience. If you haven't been, you gotta check it out. Mm -hmm. So surprisingly enough, I haven't even attended a school where the school has had a football team. And <laughs> okay. the first game of actual football I actually attended was Tom Brady's last game. Wow. Honestly. And so just knowing that and kind of getting into football more, of course, me and you guys, knowing no and knowing you have money, yeah. being with athlete innovations, um, being a videographer is taking me a lot of places. And the whiteout game, I'm only able to experience it on TV 25. Yeah, you gotta get I there. I don't even have a system. So for the position that you played, I know we required a lot, you know, early mornings. Yeah. Um, what kind of went into that, you know, daily? Yeah, it was it was a different experience, man. And especially because I came in my freshman year, I broke my foot twice my senior year. So I went the whole year without conditioning at all. Like Which I couldn't, foot? my right foot, same foot twice. Um, so I couldn't run leading into it. I wasn't doing any cardio. Uh, and I remember Coach Franklin was like, yo, you need to come in and be at least 290, 300 pounds. And at that point I was like 260. So I just started eating sushi, bench pressing. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about running one bit. Uh, so when I got to Penn State, you talk about the early mornings, winter workouts, training camp, all that good stuff. It was hard, man. It was hard for that first year. There was definitely some shock there uh, while my body caught up. But it's definitely just, you know, I, I tell people all the time, I'm thankful for it now because I feel like when different challenges arise, whether it's in business or with my family or social, whatever it may be, um, I'm prepared for it because of what we did at Penn State. Those were some of the hardest days of my life. But, you know, as an older person now who's maybe not using their body, um, I'm thankful for the discipline and the habits that it taught me while mm -hmm. being in school. Yo, 100. Oh, yeah. I can totally relate to that. Yeah. I actually, I played soccer myself okay. for 15 years, so I know obviously you know what it takes. Yeah. You, know, you gotta wake up. You gotta eat the right things. You yeah. gotta definitely that mental toughness plays a big role. But how did your ambition from the sport cross over into what you're doing now? Yeah, that's a good question, man. So people don't know this. I, I mean, I played at Penn State for four years. Uh, I was a four-star recruit coming out, um, but my career at Penn State really wasn't what I thought it would be and certainly not what people around me thought it would be, primarily because I was injured for pretty much the entirety of my career. I had eight major surgeries. Um, so after my fourth year at Penn State, you know, I, I was constantly declining physically, just trying to get through it and get to my degree. And I knew, okay, this game is being taken away from me early. Again, I mentioned my family uh, having played in the NFL, so I kind of understood that football would end at some point. Uh, but even knowing that, watching the game end so quickly and not really having a plan for what would be next, um, that really kind of has shaped where I'm at now. Obviously with Young Money, uh, working with young athletes, not only on uh, the pro side, but also the college side as well. My ambition comes from wanting to put young athletes in a position where they can be successful, not just while they're on the field, uh, but then in life beyond. Uh, as you know, 80% of NFL athletes are broke after three years. Uh, that number is way too high, and to me, it's a, it's ridiculously high. And again, I have seen that in my own family with certain people who have played in the NFL. Um, and you just want to help them avoid that and help put them in a position where they can take care of themselves and their families long term. So you ask what my ambition is, what my motivation is. Uh, it's helping young athletes put themselves in a position where they can be successful, not just while they're on the field, but long, long after as well. So I know we had a side conversation before we started this. So you know, how I actually got into music, music producing, yeah. and graphics, and all that stuff before I, you know, picked up the camera. Uh -huh. And we're talking about faith. 
does yeah. faith play a part into how you actually go about treating Man, your athletes, taking care of them? My, my dad's a minister. My grandma, my grandpa's a minister. Um, so I was a, a drug baby getting drunk to church every Ooh. Sunday and Wednesday. Oh, yeah, okay. um, not that type of, you know, okay. but but that's really what I come from though. So, you know, faith is definitely, it's always been a big part of everything I do. Um, and yeah, man, again, I, I'm a firm believer that you treat other people how you want to be treated. I'm also a believer that iron sharpens iron, that young money, we have the best team in the world. And I say that confidently because of that, we're able to go after some elite, elite athletes with big time aspirations, comfortably knowing uh, that they're going to make us better and we're going to make them better at all times. And that's definitely something that I take a lot of pride in. So obviously, Young Money has a crazy history of getting athletes to the next step financially, even on the field, you know, taking them to the best places for training. Yeah. Um, what do you actually expect stepping into Young Money, knowing their history and how well they can treat their athletes? Yeah, I'll tell you what, I am yet, um, I've been surprised at every turn, at every corner. This is truly a, a top-notch group, and again, you mentioned a couple things they do at a high level. They do everything at a high level. If Young Money is doing it, it is uh, absolutely the upper echelon, the, the creme de la creme, the, the, <laughs> the highest level that, it, that you can even imagine. And it's been like that in every aspect. So, you know, all I hope to do is, again, provide value uh, to a team that's already so well established and has done so many good things. If there are any ways that uh, I can help improve and raise that standard, I definitely intend to do that. But the standard here has been set. Young money is young money with or without me, and I'm blessed to be here. Uh, and I'm looking forward to, again, trying to elevate that standard with some time. So being from Ohio, being yeah. at Penn State, now you're actually in Tampa. Yeah. How do you actually like being over here and seeing the environment? Man, listen. I'm from Ohio. <laughs> I've been in, in Pennsylvania the last six years. Mm -hmm. I have never in my life been surrounded by so much water um, all the time. <laughs> it's a blessing. Um, and now that it's getting to October, we're getting to the fall months, that heat's coming down a little bit, mm -hmm. but there's still the water. So this is like prime time for me. I'm loving this right now. Um, yeah, it's been wonderful, man. Just the environment, the weather, the people. Uh, it's an exciting place to be right now and definitely blessed to be here. Okay. Um, as far as any other questions go, I don't think I have any on the top of my head. Is there anything else you would probably let athletes know that may be wanting to join Young Money? Yeah, listen, man. Um, you know, this, this group here is special, uh, and that's just not uh, the team that we have in place from Adi Van Gantar to Noah Rosenfeld to people like myself. This team is special, but our clientele is special as well. So, um, you know, we're looking for the type of guy. Uh, that wants to be serious about not only what he's doing on the field, but off the field and somebody who is uh, as commanding and demanding of themselves as we will be of ourselves. You know, again, iron sharpens iron and we're looking to work with the best because we believe that we're the best. Um, and if you come to Young Money, it's family for life. Uh, and we don't just walk it, we talk it for, well, that's backwards. <laughs> we don't just talk it, we definitely walk it. You come to Young Money, hey, hey, hey. You come to Young Money, you're rocking with the right. best. Thank you, all. Best of wish to meet you. Much love, Pleasure brother. doing business. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As always. Without hawking the building. Come on, now. <laughs> Let's go!